What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How's everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. It's a slow summer day. So with that said though, we got some good questions from you guys. So we're going to dive into those. But before I do, two points of uh, interest for you. One would be, uh, I put out a new video today for an electric bike. Check that video out, I'll link it down below. It's a very inexpensive electric bike. It's only $7.99, which can sound expensive, but it's actually very inexpensive for an electric bike. It's zippy, gets pretty good range, and uh, it's just fun to drive. So check it out if you're looking to get an electric bike. It'll be linked, the video anyway, will be linked down below. Also, your question of the day is, which specific configuration do you plan on getting for the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Flip 4? Put that in the comments down below. With that said, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that All right, first question of the day comes from Terry Bourne saying, uh, do you think the phone cracking in the crease would affect the trade-in value? Wouldn't this be considered normal wear and tear? Crack? No, I don't, I don't think so. Um, you could probably get it fixed as a defect, but you have to get it fixed before you trade it in. So I would look at potentially getting that fixed. Um, otherwise, you're taking your chance at getting a really, really low trade-in value when you send that phone into Samsung if you're gonna try to trade it in for one of their newer ones. Let's play games. It says, is there any news about the release of the Xiaomi 12 Ultra and why did they take more than a year to release the phone. Um, I have no idea. I, I, Xiaomi sends me some of their phones. I thought the 12 already came out. Am I wrong about that? I, I know I did. I thought I did like the 12 something. I could have swore the 12 Ultra already came out. Maybe it didn't. I, I don't keep super close eye on the old the Xiaomi phones. Whatever they send me, I kind of make a video on it and tell you guys what I think. But um, in terms of why it potentially isn't out, I'm not sure. And our last question from JJ says, will you be getting the one terabyte Fold 4 if it has more RAM, maybe even exclusive color? I know it's more uh, storage than anyone needs, but it would be nice to have the big boy. Um, I, the way I look at it now, and I've kind of said this before, is for me, 256 gigs of storage is completely fine. It lasts me getting up into a year, and then I'm like, you know what, I need to delete some stuff, or I might need that next storage unit, but usually I'll just offload some videos or photos, but I still, even to this day, I think I have like 60, 70, 80 gigs or something free on this one. So for me, the probably the highest I personally would go would be 512 gigabytes, but, would I get the one terabyte version if it had more RAM? Maybe it has 16 gigs of RAM, uh, or maybe it has uh, an exclusive color. I'll be honest with you, probably not at this point. The 12 gigs of RAM is absolutely fine with me on this. So the only reason I would get the one terabyte would be it, if it had more RAM and you guys were like craving it and you're like, oh, I wanna see some videos on it, how it compares and all that stuff. That's really the only reason I would probably do it. Uh, otherwise, they'd probably have to throw some extra stuff in there like more trading credits, uh, more pre-order gifts. They'd have to give me some kind of extra feature that the other ones don't have. There'd have to be some things thrown in there that would really get me salivating. But otherwise, just more storage and or even an exclusive color, I'd probably say no to that. Let me know about you guys. Would you get the one terabyte version in the comments down below? Have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.